two Greer police officers have been fired after an internal investigation into their response to a disturbance call. Now we have video from an incident last month. We're, we're going to show some of it to you here. We'll warn you, some folks will find it hard to watch. Our Kelsey O'Donnell reports. Weeks after a man was charged with assault and battery on police while resisting arrest and public disorderly conduct, two of the responding officers from the Greer Police Department have been relieved of their duties. The dismissal of the two officers closes a weeks long internal investigation that began when this video from a neighbor's doorbell camera first emerged. Greer Police say officers Joseph Lucarelli and Griffin Rom, both of whom had been with the department for about two years, were on administrative leave since early last month after responding to a disturbance involving a man named Donald Parham. In an incident report, police say Parham was in the roadway when they arrived on his hands and knees yelling incoherently. A woman close to him said he was having a mental episode. Police say Parham was visibly intoxicated and while waiting on an ambulance, they attempted to restrain him. That's when he reportedly grew more aggressive towards officers captured on this doorbell footage resisting an arrest. In the incident report, an officer said he punched Parham several times in the face in an attempt to stop his aggression towards them. Parham was taken to the hospital to be treated before he arrived at the Greer detention facility battered and bruised. Friday, Greer police closed their internal investigation, saying in part, quote, the officers acted outside the Greer Police Department guidelines and policies to an extent that we could not maintain employment with them. Greer police did not specify which guidelines and policies the officers were in violation of. However, in their use of control techniques in the department's code of conduct, it states, while the use of control is occasionally unavoidable, every police officer will refrain from applying the unnecessary infliction of pain or suffering and will never engage in cruel, degrading, or inhuman treatment of any person. Keep in mind, policies and guidelines differ between agencies. What may not be a justified use of force at one department could be viewed differently elsewhere. We spoke with Greer Police today. They say at this time they have no additional comment regarding this matter. We also went back out to the neighborhood and spoke with Mr. Parham. He said his lawyers advised him not to comment comment. In Greer, Kelsey O'Donnell, 7 News. Parham is still scheduled to appear in court next week for the charges related to that incident.